Welcome back to the lab. As always, this is Kondrick. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit uh, different this episode. Uh, I got some footage I recorded with uh, Shirtugal and NextGen uh, working on a little mob farm that we uh, put together using the hollow hill that was off next to the, the spawn area over there. So I'm going to cut to the video I got from that which is a little bits and pieces and then I'm gonna come back and close out the episode when I uh, when that footage is over so yeah take a look at this uh, this footage here and I'll see you at the end of the episode I need to grab something, I think, to let me fall down easily without dying. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I gotta clean up my inventory because I have a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, you could pillar up with sand. There's plenty of dirt laying around there. Yeah. I'm not worried about the pillaring up part, I'm more worried about getting down. Well, um, you, to get down, you'll probably want to break the stuff that you pillared up with. Maybe. Yes. Except that, uh, of course, you're making a shoot for them, so. I'm just going to grab my linking book home and run back, I guess. That'll work. I should always have on me, but I cleaned out my inventory. No, uh, there are spare books. Um, Farrell stole all of them, but I stole them back and put them back <laughs> in the shop. And I actually made some more. So they're in there. There are some in the writing table, actually, which will be easier to get than from the... Uh... Sure. How did I do that? <laughs> oh, I hate that. In cheat mode? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. My viewers don't know what just happened, so I'll say nothing. Well, I was recording too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just three quarters of a stack of charcoal. It's not like it wouldn't be created by farming. <laughs> and it happened again. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Do we all want to yeah, sleep or do you just want to work good. through the night? Cause it's probably going to get mob filled now. Yeah, sleep uh, would be we good. Can always, we can always pray to the potato god and have, see if that will turn the light back on. I'm in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're recording too? Yeah, I'm just going to piece whatever I can together. Alright, well, as an explanation for your viewers and mine, um, we're digging down the hollow hill and turning it into a mob farm. And I think that's all the explanation we need. I don't know we had an Indian on this server who could do a day dance. <laughs> That'd be lovely. We need to, uh, we need to get... I told you, man, we have the potato god. Yeah. Yep. We need to get paws on here. Yeah, we do. Not only can he stop the rain, but turn it to day as well. I think it, when was it? It might have been when they were rebuilding B, B00's uh, arena that they had him do the... The rain dance. <laughs> hey, sure. Do, do you have enough obsidian to make some obsidian pressure plates for the, uh, the fence gates? I can uh, set one of those up if we need it. I need. Um, I don't have a steady flow of lava to make the, the obsidian. Uh, I know Farrell does. I know she said she mined a whole load of it yesterday. Yeah, she said something like 67 blocks of cobble or something. More or, like uh, 100 obsidian. And something. Uh, wow. Obsidian. Okay, so she mined more while it. I was oh, after I got offline last night. Oh yeah. <sighs> Need to go up. And I, need, I need to grab a pump, pump for the oil here. Um. So you're at two right now. You need to go another what? Twenty. Twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah, 
And just in case, do I sound okay on your speakers? Yeah. Yeah, you sound fine now. All right. Um, and just in case any of your viewers are wondering, this uh, glass box is around this um, massive node that we had. It was in the middle of this uh, hollow hill. So we're just going to figure out how to farm out the uh, wisp. Yeah, so if any viewers have um, input on how to make a, an easy wisp farm, I think we'll be happy to hear about it. I mean, I guess I could stick a door on it, and then we could just walk in there and battle away. That could be painful. Yeah, yes. and automatic would definitely be nice. Yep. Don't fall next year, no! Oh, you're you just building fall down the water? <laughs> <laughs> Be a pain to get up now. Oh, you know what? I can just do the water trick. Well, so, like uh, every 20 blocks, put a sign. I went 10. up to the required height it needs. So if you just build up to that, my pillar that I already made should be good. All right, and then we'll just need a book and um to cap it off, I guess. Yeah, and I got two of them on me. Oh, my oh, I've got gosh. four books with me, too, so. I got I a whole bag it. full of cobble if you guys need Forget it. Forget it. You got this gone, Jake. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, there was just not working. All right, so if I place a block in the middle of this column and stand on it and then make the book, that should be the right height? Um, uh, you'll need to stand in the middle of no. it. It needs to be the your head needs to be at the block that it that the book gets uh turned into. Yeah. So is there a way I can get up there? So right now you're twenty two blocks up, so that's what I'm seeing. <sighs> oh, easy way to, to to figure it out. Um I am standing on eighty nine oh, okay, next gen's doing it. So we just Ow. You okay, Conjurch? <laughs> uh, wow. I'm down to three hearts, but I'll be alright. Okay, you're at three? Yeah. Is that because of your armor, or do I need to go up higher? Um, probably no, because of my armor. No, he fell on glass. He fell on glass, so he, you're, he was uh too short. Fall down over here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll do that in a minute, check how it is, but I think I need to make the book here. If not, I just need to raise it up one. I... These carrots <laughs> do not help the saturation Try some anywhere baked near potatoes. enough. Baked potatoes, by the okay, way. I just made the linking book, and I'm gonna drop down and see where this takes me. I might die. Fall in the center here. Hey. Three hearts. Where we at? So we're down to three hearts. But yeah. you have armor. Do. That might have so, helped out. Do we yeah. want to let something spawn and see what happens? Yeah, let me just uh, throw the book down there and pick out the lights. Oh, you have to make it in interlinking, don't forget. Hey, oh, we I gotta do. make it dark. We don't. You don't have to make it dark. Yeah, it has to be interlinking or it won't actually function. Okay. Yep. I did not know that. I don't do enough miscraft to... Uh, no. Yeah, interlinking is the thing that lets it link in the same world. Um, so even with a portal, you need it. Okay. We really should have that book receptacle on the side by the stairs. I think I'll move it. I went in to beat those bees. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Just look at the color of the wood on the outside of the building. That's that's a clue as to which building it is. Okay. Look at all the copper. I've got to get this. I'm sorry. It's driving me nuts. Okay, sure. Um, I think it does need to be dark in there, though, doesn't it? Or will they just spawning for the zombie and skeleton I don't know I think that there can't be any light in here 
Uh, we can always shield it. Um, the book receptacle is now easy to access from the stair side. So, let me take off my armor and do this again. My health is full. And let's see where this takes me. Ow. And three hearts, and now we're stuck. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so still not enough damage. Now, oh, sorry, shirt. Back up into that corner. Maybe we can get out of here. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Freedom! Alright, so yeah. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna encase the glass here in blocks. Okay, I'll do the same thing. So I think all we really need to do is um, either take this down a few blocks or. Okay, you got background noise. Just shirt. drop it down one block. I mean, we're not really hurting on cobbles, so we could always just throw a bunch of cobblestone swords over there. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to encase the glass. We can just put cobble around the uh, spawn area down here so we can still see the wisps. Whatever you want to do, though, your project. It looks like we're already filling it up, so I mean. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put cobble across the center here to separate the wisp area from the uh, mobs area. And, um. We want a door into the mob area. Or... It couldn't hurt. Um, let's not put it at the portal, though. You don't want to go through the door and instantly fall and die. Yeah. Alright, that... So we could drop this down one, but then... Only issue we're going to have is that hole right there, the glass. So let me... Does it have to be glass, or can we no, knock the two on. pieces of glass it out? It doesn't have to be glass, but we can just put cobble on the inside. It doesn't matter. Because if we fill up that area, that just means the mobs won't spawn inside the blocks. This is also going to be a good way to get arrows and stuff. We are going to want to block the skeletons though from... Still not enough damage though, three hearts. Well, I mean, like I said, we're not really hurting on cobblestones, so we could always just have a chest or barrels of cobblestone swords here. Yeah, that's true. We could even make it autocraft. Oh, the zombie just died from that drop. Cool. Well, I had armor, so. And you send more through. Go and break some torches and see how it works. Or are you already doing that? Already doing it. Died again. Yeah, that's too far. That's too high up. Go place that block back then. The popping noise it makes when the torches go through the portal is kind of funny. I'm wondering if they're keeping the... Since they're already starting to fall, if that falling is what's killing them. It's possible. So I'll have to raise this up three stone blocks. Um, yeah, I forgot, um, the portals maintain momentum, so, yeah, whatever they've already started to fall, that's 
How? How far they've already fallen. Oh, now it's somewhat working. One of them survived. You've got an arrow coming out the base of your skull shirt. <laughs> I'd take it for the team, man. Okay, more coming through. Two out of three zombies survived. And we're each we two go. hit kills. Actually, we don't even need this cobble around the wisp cage um, on this side if we don't want it. Up to you. Yeah, so I think this is an automatic where they're always going to survive, but I think these are now three hits instead of and you can't take it down any farther? No, you got one hit. That's a one hit. Well, I Excellent. think each of them are about two. At least for the zombies. The skeletons should be one, but zombies technically always have leather armor on. So they'll always be two. Should we put a plat up there? What? Like that, a platform. Set of stairs directly up there. Okay. I already have 38 levels on me, so I mean, if you can start getting the XP. putting things on upside down by accident. It's probably because you're clicking the top part of the block. No, I'm sure, but... Ow! <laughs> we need a half slab or something right here because I don't shoot me. Um, I fix that. Boom. Nice. Okay. That's awesome. Seems like the loot kind of goes everywhere, though. Hey, we'll have bows now. Yeah. Hey, that works like a charm. Very cool. Sweet. All right, well, I'm out of stairs. There. It's like we're all going after him. <laughs> We need a lob pit. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to him. Nice that it's double spawner too, so it gives you twice what you would normally get. Yeah, because the mob count, um, like the maximum mob count is per mob type, I think. I got a creeper in here. What? That's not good. Kill the creeper. There shouldn't be any where the yep. creepers could actually spawn. Oh. Oh, I need food. Yeah, I see the gunpowder. So we need a chest for. We need food here, and we need. Um... Oh, 
here. here. Dude, I just got a pair of steel boots. Yeah, I just tossed them at you. Oh. <laughs> I went to uh, dungeon raiding on Digger earlier and got some copper boots, and apparently that's slightly better than steel, so sorry those are slightly damaged, but uh, there you go. I'll take them. Now all we need is an enchanting table. Yeah. What should and be good after we make a new digger? Barrels, dig, uh, enchantment table, and some place to throw trash. It can just pretty much be a cactus. We've got tons of that now. What, to throw stuff items on? Yeah, yeah you can drop items on a cactus. I didn't know that. <laughs> You don't have to waste the durability on your sword shirt. Keeps you from getting hungry. Oh. Of course, it's probably cheaper for potatoes, baked potatoes, than it is for uh, a sword. All right, so isn't it in Natura that they have berries, and the berries give you like the full saturation level, but they only do one hunger bar or something like that. If it is, I can't wait for the 1.6 like pack. Yeah. I mean, that means that you'll have very full saturation, but you'll have to eat one to be very, uh, after one food bar is gone, you'll have to eat the next berry or else it's going to be a waste. Yeah. Um, you know, I still... guess we could put the uh, enchantment table on top of the uh, wisp thing here. Um, okay, but uh, with the uh, automatic anvil recycler system that I uh, I make, I need a little bit, of, I need like uh, two or three blocks deep hole to hide all the mechanics of it. Okay, so do you want to, do you want to build off of one of these sides to this uh, platform you're building? That could work. Or, we could just do this. We could build down here. Nah. Oh, you know what? Um, let's make a, uh, another access point to this, uh, to this drop tunnel on this side. So you can just stand there and smack the mobs and then turn to the right or to the left to either enchant or use the anvil. Here we go. <laughs> I am getting some really weird lag spikes. It's Optifine, I hate them. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take Optifine out again. Because I should not be getting these these spikes. That's just completely ridiculous. Yeah, all right. I'm going to be oh, right crap. back. Be I'm right going to take guys. out I gotta go, Optifine. I got to go. I got to go to the pharmacy. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. All right. See ya. I'm going to um cut recording for a second so I can take out Optifine. I'll be right back. All right, back. Yay. All right. Now, let's see here. I need to make some more stairs again. Um I don't see the the sun, so maybe it is night. Right enough to. Or not. Try and see. Weird. I'm still getting a, a couple lag spikes. Maybe I just need to uh, restart my computer or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's not night yet. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you know what? I bet the lag spikes are from lag spikes are probably from the noise. Oh, from Minecraft. Yeah, because for some reason the sound engine, um, which I hate turning par particles down, but. 
For some reason, the sound engine causes lag. Yeah, that's what Etho was having trouble with when he did the silver silverfish spawner. Had his sound off, and he would run away from the spawner. It wouldn't um lag his game out, but when he turned it on, go down to about two for a couple seconds, and then have it back up. Yeah. There was a crafting table I made over here. I just picked a block out of a tree and made it. So I, I can bring it over there and... Uh, yeah, no, I uh, I made a minium stone earlier, so I'm good on that. Okay. Dirtman hasn't contacted anyone to try and get on the server, so I'm guessing that he doesn't really want to play on it right now. Yeah, I I think he's uh busy playing WoW. Yeah. Those nodes or those um wisps wisps are really annoying. With the sound they make and everything. Oh yeah. Wow, my FPS just dropped down to like 12. Ooh. Now it's back up to 30, but still, I should be getting four times that. Well, I got my side of the project pretty much done here, so I'm going to end off my episode. My viewers, um, Project is probably going to be recording a little bit longer, so if you want to see what he's been doing, you can uh, look at his footage now, I'll probably have a link down in the description where you can visit his channel if you're not already subscribed to him. Or if you're watching his video, um, you can check out my viewpoint if you want. <laughs> uh, shameless um, advertising. No, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stop recording here. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys for another episode. See you guys then. Bye. All right, cool. Looks like we're almost done with this. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these random lag spikes, but I'm gonna have to do something about it. Ugh. That for the stairs now? Yeah, I think so. Now I just need to remember where the path down underneath is and make a uh, doorway to it. The back. Uh. I need one more stair. Alright, hang on. Let's see here. I've got stairs here. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna move this a little bit farther over just because, um, I don't know, for consistency. And this way we can look into the whisk cage too. Yeah. Those are some nasty looking. The blue ones are friendly, right? Actually, uh, yeah, I think they are. Is it? 
well, not necessarily oh. friendly, but they're not aggro. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta turn my sound down. This is loud. There is my sound. We need a bitch to stop this noise. Yeah, we should put in uh, a switch with lighting or something. Yeah. I'll go up and try and kill some of them. At least they're not like tier 5 spawners or anything where they'll just keep going and going and going even when we're not near it. Uh, causing server like problems. Yeah, well, um, if that was the case, I would probably, because they'd be tier 5, we could turn them off with redstone. I'd probably put a uh, pressure plate that you have to stand on for them to spawn and um, like a knot gate or something so that uh, that way um, when you want them to spawn, you have to be standing there waiting. It's not like you have to wait a ridiculous amount of time for them to build up either. Exactly. Uh, when we get potions, this will also be much, much easier. There we go. Quiet for a little bit here until they all spawn again. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Do you need a bow or do you have one? Um. I don't currently have one. Okay, well, I'll give you a pretty much fresh one. I just uh, fixed it up, so. Okay, well, it's gonna get loud in here, so I'm gonna go. Alright, uh, I guess we'll see you around later. Yep. Okay then, uh, well, it looks like Next Gen had to leave. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead Next and demo disconnected from your channel. To <laughs> there he goes. I'm gonna try to um, fix this up a little bit more, and uh, we'll see how long this episode has been. I'll check back either way, but... Um, yeah, that this this may be the end of the episode. I may uh, come back and make another, uh, may continue the episode. Uh, we'll see how much content is left, and uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, now this is just funny. <laughs> Had to show this. There's a skeleton that's targeting on me, but I'm just standing on the opposite side of the drop point, and he just keeps shooting all the mobs. So, I've got uh, a skeleton doing all the work for me. <laughs> Thought somebody might appreciate that. Alright, I'll be back when I've got something to show. Alright, back again. Um, this is going to be the end of the episode. I uh, it just checked the amount of footage I have. It looks like I've got enough content. It's going to be a little bit short. But I do have enough content to call it a full episode. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me show you what I've got here. I, uh, I finished hollowing out everywhere underneath the stairs. And if we look, wow, a little bit of a lag spike. If we look down here, I, uh, made a little bit of a, uh, mossy, uh, mossy cobble generator using the red power method. Um... You just dig out this moss stone and replace it with cobble, and it will generate more mossy cobble. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, this is a thing in Red Power. Um, if you put cobblestone next to a water source and next to a block of mossy cobble, 
and it is not exposed to the sky. It's it's a random uh, random tick, but it will gradually the moss will spread to any cobble that is connected to a moss stone source. So that cobble's touching mossy, this one's touching mossy, and that one's touching mossy. And once once those three blocks become mossy, then the ones next to them will also have the uh, the uh, possibility of having it spread. So just a little bonus under here since we don't really have anything else uh, to do under this area. Uh, let me see, is that that's let up well enough? So yeah, here we go. This is our uh, our mob farm, uh, which is skeletons and zombies. And as soon as I start making um, generating all that noise from the mobs, my FPS lags out. Interesting. So the sound engine in Minecraft needs fixing. Uh, anyway, so there we go. We have an XP farm. Uh, probably in the next couple episodes, we're going to work on an enchanting station, possibly off this side or this side or wherever. And hopefully very soon I'll be able to get some red power uh, stuff worked on so that I can set up an automatic anvil recycler system similar to the tutorial I already have out. I actually want to make a new tutorial um, using Ultimate because some of the rules are a little different in Ultimate. Some of the machines are a little different in Ultimate. And um, yeah, a lot of you who are using Ultimate, if you haven't changed the recipes for Greg Tech, you can't just compress ingots into blocks. You have to use the compressor instead of just crafting. So. My previous method wouldn't work um, that way. You would have to change things, and I already have a design. So that may be a tutorial that will be going up fairly soon. I have to see what kind of time I have available for recording it. But, uh, yeah, so that's the end of the episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.